What's up guys welcome back again this is another updated video for oneplus specific and this is the oxygenous commutable 3.5.2 as you can see right in front of me so a couple of the things here i want to point out first so first of all in case you are my subscriber of my youtube channel you might have watched a video i posted today how to uninstall delete or remove tour recovery on your android so guys i am struggling from morning 4 am to install that bit i did get the notification around 4 30 am in the morning on my twitter I downloaded and installed uh, this one here and the overall file size was 1.3 gigabytes and the first of all uh, in case your device is rooted if you have installed twerp then the current build is not uh, able to install if you have downloaded the flash files so already have checked the oneplus forum so so many issues were there so i did struggle a lot to remove the twerp first and then after i successfully managed to remove the twerp I get the OTA, it was 171 MB here, but when I try to install that, it shows uh, some updates are not installed. You need to click on the repair. Then again, it went to download the complete ROM itself. So it was somewhere near into 1.34 gigabytes. So that's how I managed that. So my device is completely formatted. It's a whole new here. So officially, there were 10 changes here, and 10 changes I did found out by myself in just one hour. And within less than that, I was just doing i was just digging deep inside that so in case something is missed you guys have to let me know or in case something's already covered so uh, you do have to let me know and also make sure to watch my previous 3.5.0 and 3.5.1 videos so those videos might help you in case you want to exactly know what the new has change has been done or not so starting from here so first of all uh, added uh, there is a new uh, kill uh, all background process that was there in the oxygenus 3.2 branches so if you just click here and just try to do a clear here it will show you exactly new option a normal clear deep clear so you so this is a similar here earlier when you have the oxygen you know, 3.2.4 as of now it show you two button so you can select either way so second means it will clear from the ram itself and the first is just clearing apps from the star switcher so whatever you want you can just select that thing here you can go in further change that now inside the messaging you have the option of of the long press when you keep a long press here you will get further options like uh, you know selecting all deleters and, and whatever else this option has came to the messaging app now this there is new incoming call ui notifications if i call to some number and uh, i'm just calling my other number you can see it is that if i just close it that and I'll lock my phone again so uh, my device is locked i'm just getting call back here so you can see this new option here you can if you just please here slide down to ignore incoming call if you just press here slide for sms reply so a couple of the new things has been added you can simply cut it down in that way inside the system updates now you have the manual option of checking for updates now you can easily click here and it will show you the current bill number whatever you have stalled on inside the system and security if you try to add the new fingerprint here it will ask for some new pattern it is a new directional actually to us so let me just try to switch it that way if i just click it that way you can see it's now completely changed stuffs are done and it's taking actually a more bit of uh, stuff here and we'll just see here so i'm just setting out continue to adjust the position of finger clear informations and it's taking a lot of stuffs now so that means they have optimized the fingerprint sensor too you can see uh, it takes a lot of information this time to uh, do set your fingerprint now and also this is a complete UI has been changed this is a new lock stuff and came here if you come inside this battery saver mode optimization and enhancements there is a new uh, stuff a bit of internal changes it won't visible here for example if I just show here inside this battery optimization few of the apps that were not able to uh, add it to battery optimization as you can see in my previous video I have shown you just need to click on all apps it will show all apps due to that it was limited a few set of apps now it is showing all apps whichever you want to optimize and do that if you are using uh, the default stock launcher for the oxygen uh, it shows you now the recent contacts list it has been added that now you can easily see whatever the contacts recently has been added that so it's sort of widget you can actually add a new widget here for the contacts too so if you're using that launcher definitely you can use that feature and some new message center here data remain storage battery and all the stuff it's showing here now again further if you go inside this setting here now you can have uh, up to six digit of pin prior to that it was limited to four digit now you can add up to six digit of pin codes dialer speed has been improved as said in the latest update that we need to check the how fast it is working or not 
so according to the another update change log uh, there is a new night mode but that was already there so i'm sure there's been some optimization if you just turn that on it, it looks more pale yellow right now compared to the existing one so these are guys all the changes that are officially mentioned a couple of the stuffs uh, that i found personally from my side here so first of all uh, the home button has been removed so it was removed a bit on 3.5.0 it was back on 3.5.1 but now it has been removed again you should not find any uh, home button here from where you can go and change the launcher i will show you guys later how you can change the launcher going on the quick settings toggle here you can see there is a new option called switching data card has been added that means you can directly switch between two uh, sim cards here. in case you are using two sim cards dual sim here and both have data plans here you can easily switch from one to two by default is showing uh, the first sim card if you just change it here, it will show as a uh, number two whichever you have changed that and there is a new battery saver icon came back again if you just compare to 3.5.1 it was not there but now it has been came again so there is a new set of two further uh, quick settings toggle added here if you just go inside the settings and advance you will see a new entry called this way and uh, clear uh, the way clear recent apps so by default it was normal clear so that will come here when you just do it here so if you just change it from here so it will follow the default pattern each time if you just go inside the apps and enter the gear option click here on this default app so there is a new rearrange and design layout here how you can change that and here you can change your uh, launcher too. if you just click on the desktop you can just change from here or you can just go to back settings and search from their home here you will get from where you can change the launcher if you just talk about the camera there is a new feature called the time lapse so i'm not sure whether it is there or not so guys you need to confirm me that if you just get inside there's a new time lapse actually it is a video recording and if you just try to uh, go to this video mode and try to uh, do this uh, time lapse set here if you just do it here so uh, it takes actually like it's a one second but actually uh, it is uh, moving so fast that the one minute difference is very fast if you just uh, go and play it here and uh, here's the one if you just play it here you can see actually it is very fast you can see but it shows actually like uh, it hasn't played here as the stuff here so that is the stuff has been added here couple of changes has been added in terms of charging here now let me just uh, bring out my charger so as of now you can see guys uh, uh, i have just selected here this rounded one so it was there in 3.5.0 from where you can change that if you just take a look here again on the battery here so you can change here the kind of bar you want so i've taken circle so in my 3.5.0 i've shown you there's a new animation here when you try to plug in that it will show you exactly the led color you have taken but now just notice carefully if i just plug in my charger there so first of all it will show a small circle dot here so you can see i got a small dot here now it has been changed to this uh, uh, battery bar so this has been done there so uh, the color has been removed and there's a new animation so these are uh, two changes that and guys there's new stuff uh, first of all i don't know uh, how it is possible uh, the re reboot option has been removed so if you just click here so by default if you just click on the power button it shows you like uh, a power off a reboot if you just press hard and if you just now do it in that way so you can see my device is directly powering off i don't know i have enabled the developer option advanced reboot is too enabled so maybe it's a bug or what so i'm not sure uh, how can the people reboot if something is done like that and if you just let it uh, reboot you can see this not powering up it's just directly rebooting here and when you reboot that you will get this new lock screen ui so it has been changed uh, not sure you can see uh, i was just trying to power off and it came to reboot so i don't know uh, if i just uh, click here once so it will lock so i don't know how you can do that so that's it guys uh, small changes stuff that i found out 20 plus uh, new features and changes so in case something is very critical urgently i found it i'll make a new video otherwise those are the main important changes that so hope you guys find this video helpful this is sarab and uh, i'll put uh, all the mentioned videos links and whatever i've discussed it and the show one knows so thanks for watching i'll talk to you next video have a great day